Hello, my name is Dmitry Dolzhenkov. I am Tecla Supper Specialist in Belner Gamash BZM. And today I want to describe my application for Tecla Developer Awards 2019. To open this application, we go to Application Components, write UDA, and open this extension. This is main dialog of this application. You can work with attributes by Excel files or CSV files. And this application combine already exists functionality of different extensions like copy UDA, UDA list, and import attributes. First of all, we have two column in the file that this column with report attributes that for sort and uh, second column for set this button we have least defined attributes that already exist and saved in this model we can modify this file for our needs and we can open global list of defined attributes, find the name of ad, uh, attribute and data type. First example how this application can help us. We want to set draw number for this pair lines. We select some filter and we see that draw number is empty. Uh, how we can know the name of attribute of EDA? We co can go to object INP file, and copy, uh, or we can use this application, set some value to this model object for this assembly, open, and click button get and we see the draw number that type string it's, this is for our needs in the environment it can be different data type <laughs> for this attribute yeah and now we have this name of UDA in main form we select assemblies create Excel file, open it, now we can set, we have already existing values but it's not correct and we fill all draw numbers in correct sequences, save and return in the model, open this extension and click button set UDA from Excel. UDA from list already in the model. And we can open and see, check that we have Draw number for this assemblies. This extension can work with model objects and with drawings. For second example, we need to change object type. I already set name of attributes that can help sort us for us. What drawings we have? 100 to 26 part drawings and we have use define attribute that number of list that we want to set not manually but with help of this application now we select drawings and Push button create Excel list and open Excel. 
in Excel, we sort all parts with filters. I skip that how I copy and change. That filters and sort from minimum to maximum, and now we can set draw numbers that we need. For example, we can start from 250. Yeah, we can, I guess. And we fill, we save, close this file and stay selected this all part drawings and push button set UDA. UDA from list already in the model in document manager. <laughs> and we see that we have draw number that we filled in Excel and it sorts by name base property. Powerful application. <laughs> In the last example, I want to show you how you can use this application to create simple report and after this to set in a user defined attribute these values. Sometimes we want to sell our construction not in kilograms, but in different units like meters, square meters. And for this, we need to set UDA with special value that our ERP system understand that how we can sell this construction in different alternative units. Now I show you how we can create report and set for special UDA. First of all, we grant file, set this checkbox for report attributes for both columns. We save assembly position. We can use guide ID or another attributes, but for this purpose, assembly position is good. Yeah, and we have this list of attributes. We have lens with data type double. All values, if we use Tecla Open API and get report attributes, we get it in the millimeters. For this purpose in this application you have possibility to set coefficient to what you want for example for lens we want to set it in the future in UDA in the meters for this we use this coefficient and we have possibility to set decimals for rounding yes we copy to main form this attribute, select select assemblies, and now we create a report Excel list. The file was created, we open it. We see this list with values in the first column assembly position and second lens in the meters with two decimals. Yeah, and now we can change status of this checkbox. We can set subunit 
length. Now we select all assemblies and click button set UDF from Excel. Sometimes you can use this application not only for existing UDAs. You can create UDA what you want, <laughs> only what you want, or only what you need. And you need to set in this field name of attributes and data type what you want to set. Oh, UDA from list already in the model. And now we can create a, another Excel for check what we set. Create. And now we see that all values on assemblies. Leave your feedback in comments and bye for now.